NASA officials and ISS crew members celebrated the 25th anniversary of the International Space Station on December 6 with a live talk between astronauts in space and officials at the Johnson Space Center. NASA Associate Administrator Bob Cabana listed the significant achievements since the ISS was first launched, highlighting the 3,000 research and educational investigations carried out by 108 countries, according to NASA. Cabana expressed his admiration for the crew's work in conducting scientific investigations aimed at improving life on Earth and preparing humanity for further space exploration. The ISS mission commander, Andreas Mogensen, reflected on his experience of the unique challenge of weightlessness in space and the fascinating range of experiments conducted on board. Morgensen expressed hope that more countries and private companies would get involved in utilizing a laboratory in low Earth orbit. ISS Missions Flight Engineer Laurel O'Hara provided insights into life on the ISS, highlighting the global effort involved in every aspect of the missions, including their sustenance, research, and even the flight of the space station, operated by teams of controllers based in mission control centers worldwide. How do you find life on ISS? There are groups of people, teams of people all over the world who are figuring out every aspect of these missions, um, everything from our food and clothes to the science research that we'll be doing on board. Um, they're also the ones who are operating space station. Believe it or not, uh, even though we're on board, we don't actually fly space station. Um, that's flown by the teams of flight controllers and mission control centers in Houston and Russia and elsewhere on the planet. What I find truly fascinating is the, the breadth of experiments that we do up here. You know, we have everything from the cold and the atom laboratory where we're studying uh, Bose-Einstein condensates, which are, um, you know, particles very close to the absolute zero uh, temperature point. We have the alpha magnetic spectrometer on the outside of the space station. Uh, then we have the biofabrication facility inside, uh, which essentially is a 3D printer where we can print human tissue, uh, human organs even, or at least that's what we're leading up toward. And I hope that uh, over the next uh, many years, uh, we'll continue to see more and more uh, countries send their national astronauts up here uh, in order to increase uh, the the you know, the international aspect of the space station. I think that's uh, incredibly exciting to see how many uh, countries and hopefully also in the future, uh, private companies are interested in utilizing a laboratory in low Earth orbit. Station, this is Houston ACR and that concludes the event. Thank you, Associate Administrator Bob Cabana and Space Station Program Manager Joel Montalbano. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communication. Okay, thank you. 